Hello, welcome back to our channel. I'm Emily, co-owner and designer at Rustic Passion Studio. Today I have a tutorial I want to show you guys on the my Wake Pray Slay striped tumbler. It's a really pretty tumbler that has stripes in different colors and then a bottom solid color of glitter as well as these little succulents all over it. So I hope you guys really enjoy it. And if you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks. To go ahead and get started on this tumbler, we are going to start with a fully sanded and spray painted cup. And I just like to use white as my base as my lightest color on my lines will be white. So to start, I have this pencil marking gauge. It has two different tops you can use, one with a curved design and one square. The curved one works really well for tumblers to sit around that top lip of your cup, making it easy to mark. So I'm going to do five stripes and I'm just deciding here how large I want those stripes to be and where I want my solid glitter bottom color to start and stop. So I believe on this 30 ounce skinny tumbler, I went ahead and went with an inch and a quarter stripes. So I'm marking the bottom where the stripes are going to end. And then I'm going to go up to the top and just mark every inch and a quarter all the way down so that I have a total of five stripes. I found this marking gauge on Etsy from Thomas Michael Industries. And I will have a link to his page down below in the description box. Uh, I was looking for a pencil marking gauge and this just happened to be 3D printed and worked perfectly for what I needed. So to go ahead and get started, after I have all my marks on the cup where I want my lines to be, I'm just going to set the gauge across the top of the top and line up where I want that first mark to go. And the side has a easily adjustable um, grip for the pencil. And so you can just slide it to where you want it to go and then tighten it and move on to your next stripe. I hold the gauge against the very top of the cup in one hand while I just spin the tumbler around and I do not move the gauge. And I'll just go down through each of those five stripes until I have marks all the way around the cup. And these marks are going to help me then line up where I want my the painter's tape to go so that I can create my stripes. I'm going to mask off my lines and paint the stripes, the colors that I corresponding colors that I want the glitter to be. I have five stripes and I want the top, middle, and bottom to be the colors. So I am first going to block off the white striped area. And I like to use the green frog tape, the painter's tape, as I think it produces the most crisp, clean lines, and you're not going to get any bleeding of epoxy or glue or however you're applying your glitter underneath these tape lines. So you just wanna go all the way around the top and bottom of those lines up until they are fully covered. And I like to fold the ends over, making it easier to find the tape and pull it off after you were done glittering. I will wrap the bottom with saran wrap so that the white bottom does not get any spray paint on it. I then go ahead and spray paint those stripes to the colors. I'm going to do one pink and one coral. After they're all spray painted, I'm going to mix up some epoxy and apply just a very thin amount for my glitter on those two colors. And all I do here is just dip my finger into the epoxy and spread it around a little bit. You do not need very much at all. You just want to make sure you get that layer very smooth so that it's not streaky and you don't see any lines when you're applying your glitter. 
The first glitter color I'm going to use here for this coral one is called Just Peachy from Charm City Sparkles and Crafts. And this is a really pretty pale peach color that's just kind of a rainbow iridescent glitter. I want to make sure that I get this nice and fully coated as we are only going to do one layer of glitter on all of our tumblers here. And then I want to pull the tape off so that the epoxy does not dry and adhere to it and I just do that right away. The second color I'm going to use on the tumbler is Persian Pink from Glitter Chimp. And this is another pretty pale pink color that's just kind of a rainbow iridescent color as well. For our next glitter colors, I am going to head and apply them using the Mod Podge me method. I prefer to do this over epoxy just once I already have a layer of glitter on the cup. I have a little bit more control to go ahead and paint those lines on. The first one I am going to use with the peach colored tumbler is Pearl from Glitter Chimp. The second color I'm going to use with the pink is called Diamond Dust from Charm City Sparkles and Crafts. And this is another kind of iridescent holographic white that really just matches this pink really well and is going to sparkle. For the bottom glitter color, I'm going to use Crushed Seashells from Glitter Chimp. And this is a really pretty opal chunky mix with some little gold shards in it. And it matches the coral and pink colors really well. After all my glitter is applied, I'm going to tear off a little piece of parchment paper and I'm going to use this just to pat down that bottom color of glitter. Because it's a chunky mix, some of those pieces can kind of stick up and we really want this to be as flat as possible before we apply epoxy so that we don't have any pieces sticking out that are going to require a lot of sanding later on. Once all the glitter layers are fully dry, I'm going to move into our first layer of epoxy. 
and on the 20 ounce cup I probably use around 25 to 30 mls of epoxy and on the larger 30 ounce skinny I use around 35 to 40. On these first couple layers of epoxy I use the KS Lickety Split and I just wait around two to four hours and I will do two coats of epoxy before we move on to the decal and vinyl stage. Moving on to the decal stage, I'm going to start by creating a gold stripe to go around the bottom of the stripes and that solid glitter color on the tumbler. So I just use the rectangle tool in silhouette and I size it to 0.2 inches wide by 11 and a half inches long and then I just duplicate that three or four times. I'm only going to need one for each tumbler but I create a couple extras in case something happens and I need another one. And then for my wake prey sleigh design, this is one that I created and I actually have this available as an SVG in my Etsy shop and I will have that link down below in the description box to use. So those colors for the wake prey are going to be the same gold as that stripe. So I'm going to lay those out together and then I'm going to print the sleigh portion in black and then go ahead and send that through. Once I have everything cut, I'm just going to go ahead and weed all of the vinyl out. Before you apply your decals to your tumbler, you're going to want to make sure you have a nice sanded tumbler. So you want to get that top rim really smooth as well as the bottom rim and anything along the tumbler body that's going to have any little bumps or anything will show through your vinyl. So you want to make sure everything is sanded down and ready to go. So I like to start with that gold stripe between the stripe and the bottom glitter color first. And I'm just going to lift one end of this vinyl and I'm going to lay it down right in the middle between those two colors. And then I pull just slightly as I turn the tumbler around so that I can line it up. And I kind of lift up and readjust as I go and I just eyeball this as I go around. Once I meet back up at that connection mark, I'll kind of use my nail to press down between the vinyl and see where they see where they're connecting at. And then I will go ahead and take my exacto knife and cut that off. I like to overlap it just a slight little bit so that if it does pull or separate, you're not going to get a line between the vinyl and it'll be a solid color. Moving on to apply the words, I like to use my favorite transfer tape and that is the clear transfer tape from Expression Vinyl and it's 12 inches by 100 foot roll and I'll see if I can get that linked below as well. With the stripes on here it makes it really easy to line it up so you can see if it's straight or not and then go ahead and burnish it down with your little transfer tool and then I can just reuse that transfer tape for the next word for sleigh and line up where I'd like that to lay down at. After I apply these decals, I would then normally go in and apply my little succulents all over. I didn't get a video of that, but I just found some cute little watercolor succulents on Etsy and made little arrangements out of them and printed them on some printable vinyl. My favorite brand is the Buttercrafts vinyl. I feel like it leaves this really pretty pearl finish after you get them under epoxy. And then I just placed those all over. Next, I went in and used some quick coat on top of the tumblers before applying the epoxy. With the metallic vinyls and that printable vinyl, I just wanted to make sure everything gets coated really well and is 
fully sealed before going into the epoxy as that vinyl can sometimes lift and that printable vinyl sometimes leaves some bubbles. So I go ahead and apply this and let it dry for like 30-45 minutes and then I move into the last couple coats of epoxy. And for these they took two coats each with that printable vinyl on there and once I get that all applied they are finished. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any comments go ahead and leave them down below and be sure to like and subscribe to our channel thank you